Good morning, everybody. How are we today? Hope you're okay. Hope you're having an amazing day so far. Hope you're having a lovely week so far. Thank you for joining me today for our lower body prehab class. Those who haven't already, hit that subscribe button, become a part of this amazing community. And it is amazing because I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, so thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for joining me every single day. And uh, thanks for your thumbs up, your likes, your comments, your shares. You name it, appreciate each and every one of you, okay? So, it's Friday, you know? Not only is it Friday, but it's an amazing day outside. Hopefully it's lovely where you are. Hopefully it's been an amazing week and it's been a successful week. Hi Tim, thanks for saying hello in the comments. Everybody else say hello in the comments, so it's nice to know some names, some faces, um, especially if you've got uh, your profile pictures on there. You know, it's nice to see uh, what you choose, if it's you, if it's a, uh, little dog or something you know it's always nice to see so things you're going to need today right yeah your mat okay you're going to need a chair or bench or sofa to sit on depending on what you have uh you are going to need one of these little tiny bands these little resistance bands i've got a fabric set of resistance bands but it doesn't matter if you don't you know because it's one of these going to put it around our feet around our ankles and stuff Morning, G. How you doing? Finally back from that run. <laughs> and he's off on another one. Brilliant. I love it. Love it. Well done, mate. Keep getting it in. You know, you're going to need one of these bands as well, okay? And then you're going to need a couple light weights, okay? Now, you can use a plate, like a, kind of a disc plate, okay? You can use a set of dumbbells, a set of kettlebells. Uh, it's completely up to you. Uh, but make sure it's, it's reasonably light but also challenging at the same time. You know what I mean uh, when uh, I show you what we're going to do, okay? Uh, other than that, you just need yourself, right? So hopefully you started to watch this and uh, you're good to go. So to begin with, what you're going to do is draw forward. You're going to draw down like so and draw back like so. Okay, so down. Good. That's it. Loosening up that body. Good. Keep it up. That's it. Keep going. I don't know about you, but if you've had a busy week, like my body feels like it has, then you will feel a little bit stiff. So it's always good to warm it up, separate it out. Okay, so in this position, you're going to drop that back knee, you're going to bring that elbow in, you're going to slide it down, trying to get to the floor and back up. Okay, once you get up, you're then going to rotate to bring a little bit of the upper body in because whether you realize it or not, they work in tandem. Okay, that's it. Have an amazing run, run G. Here we go. That's it. One more. Perfect. Swap the sides. Nice and loose. Take your time. Bring that foot up. Hands. Just like so, bending that elbow, trying to get that forearm down to the floor with a big rotation of arm. Good. One more. Awesome job. Okay. Now, what you're going to do, using your little mini bands for now, okay, you are going to place them on your feet, okay, just like so. You're going to bring your legs out nice and wide, okay, 
with your heels out a little wider than your toes. So okay, your toes are going to pull inwards. Okay, I'm just going to go to the other side of the bar so you can see my feet a little bit better. Now, when the toes are pointing inwards, your knees are pointing inwards, okay? And when you drive out, your knees follow suit, okay? So the way you want to feel it is literally all the way up, all the way to the hip, right? Try and have a proud chest if you can. Try not to slump. Puff the chest out, okay? And it's slow and steady out, slow and steady back, all right? Taking your time a bit, ensuring that you are doing it all at all times. Okay? Keep those toes tucked up to you, all right? It's going to help using that tibial anterior, okay, which is this section of your muscles here, all right? So for you runners, it's really good getting that kind of toe raised and for you general people as well. You know, it's going to help engage the ankle a little bit more. So if you look a bit older, you all, you tend to have a little bit more trips and falls, okay? A little clumsy one in the family. And this is going to help reduce that and also help reduce those injuries. If you have knee problems, okay, again, it's going to help it, okay? Good. So I should start to feel your bum kicking in on fire at the minute. I know I can certainly feel mine. Just there, big draw out. That's it, one more for luck. Good, okay. Dump in the band. Pick up another band. So this one, okay. Gonna place your two feet on it, okay. You are gonna cross over like so, so you've got an X in the band, okay. You're gonna bring it up to a bicep. Curve, so it's at 90 degrees, all right? Now from there, you're gonna stand in the middle of your mat, okay, lift one leg up. You're gonna try and balance as best as you can. I'm all over the place today, okay? And you're gonna drive out like so. Keeping that foot off the floor, it's really important that you do that, okay? It's gonna challenge your balance. You're gonna look like me a little bit. <laughs> you're all over the shop, and then all of a sudden, you're gonna nail it. So hopefully, I am. I've noticed that I've tucked my toes up. Okay, I've drawn out with the outside of my ankle so my foot isn't rotated as I do that. Okay, that's incredibly important that you don't do that. Okay, and I tend to aim on my ankle bone. Okay, and I'm drawn out the heel. Okay, so gently swapping over. I'm gonna do it this way, just so. You can see, there you go. See how those toes are tucked up a little bit so the heel is lower. Okay, again, helping that running posture. That's it, a couple more. Good, okay, so from there, Chucking the band up towards the shoulders, okay? Coming about two inches away from your seat, okay? It's bones back, then hips down, okay? Big drive up, bones back, hips down. Squeeze, okay? You wanna remove that momentum so you're not leaning and rocking off the chair, okay? I imagine there's a sheet of glass in front of you, you're holding that sheet, Okay, you're driving up, hips are meeting it, coming down. Right? Super, super important. Good. Good, two more. Good, okay, so what you're gonna do, first exercise, you're gonna need maybe a little cushion for your knees, okay? Now, like you did the other week, feels like the other day, um, 
where you've got a tire band into an object that doesn't move, okay? And this could be a table, it could be a chair leg, it could be underneath my sofa. For those who uh, used to watch it before, I had all this uh, equipment, uh, I used to lift up the bottom corner of my sofa, put it underneath the chair leg, and then uh, literally uh, do the exact same, right? So your foot is coming underneath there, but whatever it is, just make sure it's not damaging, uh, make sure it's not damaging it or you, okay? Now, in this position, okay, you want that band pulling your knee inwards, right? It's really important for your glutes to work, and the, the way they do work is they draw outwards, okay? Now, you want that knee dead straight, you've got your ankle, you've got your knee, you've got your hip, okay? You've got the force pulling in, you're driving out, keeping it straight, okay? It is not out there and causing your foot to roll, all right? Your foot is dead flat. Now the way you keep that foot dead flat is you focus on your heel and your big toe, squeezing them into the ground as you draw out. This leg here, okay, is on the balls of your feet, okay? Your hands are on your hips, and you're driving up. Now notice how my shin does not go forward and over my toes, okay? It's pulling me that way, so you need to be a bit careful with it, okay? But you're coming down and up as opposed to forward. You're drawing that chest back. You should feel it on that back leg more than potentially the front and potentially across here as well, all right? Good. Swap the sides. Moving that cushion. Come on, Matthew, drive in. Hands on your hips. Really drive up and down. Good. Shake it out. Other foot in. Other out. Now, where I put that band, I should have said earlier. Okay, for those who don't know, it doesn't just go under the knee. You've got a little kind of knuckle, if you will, just by here, a little nodule, a little knobbly bit. Okay, it's called your tibial tuberosity, okay, where the patella comes over and it's the tendon attachment site, if you will. Uh, it stems all the way in, comes up into your muscle, comes all the way up there in regards to the muscle that sinks into that patella tendon. So it's vital that it's an important landmark, if you will, right? So I rest it just on there, and then that way I know it's safe. It's not on the tendon, it's not on any of the muscles. It's just sat on that little site. And again, I'm trying to keep that foot dead straight What's more important, if you struggle with shoulder mobility, you want to work on that at the same time. If you put your palm, the top of your palm, on the top of your shorts, okay, or trousers, and then draw the elbows together, it's going to really open up that chest at the same time. It's also going to allow you to emphasize your hips, okay, and then drive forward as you keep that spine nice and straight, okay? So, for now, if you can, just put your hands into that position, Feel the stretch as it opens up your pec. You might be a little bit sore from the last couple of days. And then drive out, okay? Head up, focus on a focal point, okay? Let's go. Good, brilliant. So, swapping legs. Pop it in. Stick it at that point, just like so. Good. So from there, hands back around again. Under three, two, one, and go. Big drive out.
how are we feeling? Are we okay? Keep emphasizing that chest, keep drawing those elbows together. Keep your hand up. Good. Shake it out. Sit. Undo the band. Chuck your mat to the side and chuck your mats out the way. How are we feeling? Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions, any queries, or you just want to say hello. Doing great. All right, really good. Grab yourself a little drink and then we'll move on. Back, boom. All right, now what the person, old G, is commenting in the comment section, okay? Um, doing it when he's got, uh, coming back. Doing prehab after a run, okay? Or after a bike ride or pre-fatiguing your legs, whatever you're doing, even if it's going for a walk, coming out, uh, doing it back afterwards, it's really, really important if you want to overcome an injury or you want to bulletproof yourself, If you're, especially if you're an endurance runner. For example, when I um, was doing my first Ironman, I got hit by a car, damaged the outside of my knee, the little ligament by here. Now, I thought I was fixed. Um, what it was, it was, I was fixed to a certain point. So when I went to do a marathon afterwards, uh, the following year, uh, it took until mile 16 for that injury to re-show itself, okay? Ruined my race, um, still got it done, but it kind of ruined any sort of time or pacing. So what I had to then do is put my hour in uh, on my run, and then uh, straight after, when I was tired, do these sorts of exercises, okay? And it made me really focus as a coach on corrective exercises and the importance of the Thursday, Friday classes, you know, which has kind of changed my whole mentality about training. Tim, uh, Tim already knows he does exactly the same on a Thursday with me. Um, so if you can get in the habit of incorporating your training around these, and don't forget, you can access these classes at any time, okay? So if you do have a, a current injury or you're working through a problem, then effectively you could do this two, three times a week. You know, just make sure you're having rest in between, um, you know, and make sure you're kind of building up your runs or whatever you're training for. But um, you can also kind of really, really make a positive impact on that. And then likewise, if you have any questions about any of the things I'm raising, use the comment sections on the videos you're working on, okay? Um, I'll ask every, uh, I'll ask, I'll answer every single question, all right? So don't hesitate to uh, drop me a message or head over to Instagram and drop me a message there, all right? But keep up great work, right? <laughs> Doing really, really good. Now, first step we're gonna do onto our steps, right? You're going to stand up, you're gonna put one leg up, all right? Your hips are gonna go back first, and you're gonna slowly, very slowly, grab a seat. You're then gonna put the foot down, and then gonna come up, all right? It's going to go back on the same leg that you're standing on. Again, hips back. You're going to slowly, very slowly, fire down. And the whole point of it is to try and emphasize that slowness, okay? Right? So you're ready? Go to three, two, one, and go. Good. But yeah, sore legs, uh, sore legs, sore legs, 100% in. That walk bike was a killer. Those leg exercises a bit in, inside and outside. Super sore today, mate, you did good. Really good. Good, opposite leg now. Okay, again, super slow, naturally gonna have one strong leg and one weak leg. So just take your time with it, okay? There's no pressure, there's no rush. The more you slow it down, the more strength you'll actually build. Okay, it really helps with neural system, so I imagine some of you are gonna get hot and sweaty. It's completely normal. The more you Stress your nervous system, the more it's going to respond, and that's where you get your stability and strength, okay? So if in doubt, always slow it down. 
Good, one more. Good, shake it out. Now, these are where the light weights come in, all right? So, you're gonna grab yourself a light weight, you're gonna hold it like so, you're gonna hold it up here. Now, it doesn't matter how heavy the weight is, it's just gonna be a little bit extra load onto your leg. Now, if you're already all over the shop and you can't control that lowering phase and you spend halfway and then collapse, then don't worry about the weight. Right. Naturally, your body is at the point where it's underneath enough load already, so enough stress. Um, keep going the way you're going, and then once you get back, you'll revisit these exercises all the time. Okay, or you can even revisit this workout if it's something that you really want to work on as an individual. Okay, so hand there, okay, foot, tuck the toes up, hips back, slowly come down. Alright, nice and quick up, slowly down. Good, sit, keep it up. One more. Good, opposite leg, slow down again. Good, shake it out, grab a seat. How are we feeling guys, are we okay? Let me know in that comment section, how harder, how harder, how much harder was it compared to the first version? Were you able to maintain that stability? Were you able to slow it down as much? Okay, that's the goal, okay? It's not about how many you can do, it's about how many you can do correctly, right? You don't want that hip dropping one side you don't want that leg that's up there, all of a sudden rotating out to the side or out here, your balance all over the place. You want to have it as balanced as you can be. You want those hips as level as you can be. Imagine your pot of water. Imagine your pockets are full of water. I'm trying to get it out too quick. Imagine your pockets are full of water. How much water would be in your pocket still and how much would be on the floor? All right? That's the goal. Stability. Balance. Coming up, slow and steady, good tempo as you're coming through, okay? Right, now, same again, okay? Start at the top, original leg, coming down, slow and steady, okay? Let's go. Good job, keep going. Good, swap the legs. Make sure that foot is grounded, big toe down, heel down. Two more. Good, final one. Amazing. Chucking those weights back. So, doing a lot of glute work. A lot of us sit down a lot, okay? Really the stretch for your glutes is coming in a pressure position. And what I want you to do is create a right angle with that leg, all right? So you've got a lovely little right angle. Sat on the furthest point. I'm always leaning over to my sides so I can get my leg there. This leg goes back as far as I can and as straight as I possibly can. I then cut my heel and I bring my body over there, right? I tend to hold the ball of my foot so I can tuck those toes up. Now, because I'm sore and tight, a lot of running, riding this week, my hip flexor on this side is a little bit sore and tight. You'll feel that, so just be aware. Then my hand is in front of my knee. And then slide that out as much as I can. As I go down, I can feel it as I'm there. Hold it. 
Focus on your breathing, in through your nose, Jenny, out your mouth. Nice and slow, nice and steady. Good. From there, draw it over the top. Okay, now I've got my hands towards my foot. Put my shoulder on my knee. And I'm just embracing that stretch a little bit more into the groin, into that inner hamstring. Those adductors muscles. Essentially glutes, that back hip flexor again. Good, Jenny, coming up. From there, you're going to spin around. Draw it back as much as you can. Okay, again, cup in the ball of the foot or the heel. Okay, hand in front of the knee, walking it down, drawing it down as best as you can. Now, some of you might not be as flexible on one side versus the other, but take your time, okay? And then the more you focus in on your weaknesses, the more you're going to improve as a whole, okay? Just be aware of that. Good, big deep breaths. That's it. From there, we'll take it over, dropping the shoulder down, coming over towards the heel if you can. So big deep breath. So it come out nice and tall. From there, okay, what you're gonna do is stretch the leg you were just bending. This leg is coming over the top now. What I want you to do is cup it as best you can, pull it into your chest, sitting up as tall as you can, tuck the, that toe up as much as possible, okay? You should feel it all up in your glutes and loosen the, uh, those bad boys. You make a big, big difference the more you focus on that hip, okay? It's a massive site for attachments, okay? And it's a massive site for development, okay? Because a lot of things attach it, okay? You've got that separation from the lower body to the upper body, right? If you focus on it, so swap inside, okay, you can do a lot of developmental changes that are, can affect your body in a quick way, and a, a really good way, you know, a really beneficial way, right? So if you're super tight, super, super sore, you sit down a lot or drive a lot, okay, really free those hips up and you'll get rid of a lot of problems, a lot of pain, especially in the legs, the knees, and the lower back. Definitely worth a look. Okay, so bring your feet together, arms on the back, nice proud chest. How are we feeling anyway? Let me know in the comment section. If you can, please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't. It's always great having new people part of the community because I want to help as many people as I possibly can, right? So, if there's any issues, any problems, any questions, check it all in the comment section, even now, after, you know, once we get to a thousand subscribers, I'll be able to have a little discussion board on the channel, and then we can pop all our questions on there, and I can post little interactive things on there with you guys, but until then, we're stuck uh, in the comment sections, all right? So, if you can, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, Share the videos amongst your friends, your family, your social medias. And um, thank you very much for joining me for another week. Appreciate you all. We're almost at our 400th video, can you believe? Um, so that's going to happen next week. Hopefully you're there to see it. And um, I look forward to seeing you.
have an amazing week. Get outside, get some sunshine. It's the perfect winter's morning. Um, cold, crisp, wrap up warm, grab a, grab a hot drink and uh, chat to a friend. You know, listen to a podcast, have a bit of mindfulness like we practice Wednesdays. All right, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for your lovely comments. Thanks for your time, your effort, your patience. And uh, yeah, take care, all right? See you soon. Have a good one.